This is the brand new BIMPure plugin for Revit that includes seven tools to help you be more efficient and save time. We'll cover all of these seven tools. Let's start with Ghost Markups. This is similar to the no plot functionality in AutoCAD that allows you to have layers that don't print or export to PDF. The first step is to go to settings and define a prefix that you want to use. In this case, we set up ghost and then you can start to create types for annotation elements such as detail lines or text or dimension and ensure that you're using the same prefix. So in this case, you can see that we have a dimension with a ghost as the prefix and the type name, same thing for the text and for the detail line. And you can add these elements Again, this is meant for internal annotations, for your colleagues, stuff that you don't want to actually print on the sheets when they're exported. And then the first way to use this, you can click on hide and all of these elements will be automatically hidden. Then click on show to show them back up again. And then if you export to PDF, let's say that I export this uh, current window, I will uh, override the file. You will get this warning that says that ghost markups is active. That's good. Click on yes. And then let's open the file and you can see that all these red annotations are not actually showing up on the PDF. That was Ghost Markups and it was inspired by a tool called Revit Note Plot by Timothy Logan. The next tool is called Convert Units. This is helpful for people working in both metric and imperial to quickly switch all the units, including length, area, and volume, and also affecting all the view scales, including inside the view templates. So in this case, I'm in a metric project, so I can select the metric to imperial option. And if I run, you can see that everything has been changed to imperial, including the view scale. One problem of using this is that you might get weird fractions inside of your wall composition, for example. So a way to resolve this, if I go back and I use convert units again, and I select metric to imperial, is to check this option that will round the family dimensions to avoid having weird fractions or digits. So I click on run. This takes a bit more time, but afterwards, if I go back to the wall composition, you can see that everything has been rounded to fractions that actually make sense in construction. The next one is called Swap Materials. This allows you to swap one Revit material, all instances where it's used in Revit, to another material based on an Excel spreadsheet. For example, this is my Excel file. You can see in the first column, this is the materials that Revit will be looking for. And in the second column, the material we'll be replacing instead. So in this case, for example, all the RP gypsum, we want to convert them and to switch to the BP gypsum material instead. Uh, as you can see in this wall composition, our gypsum is currently RP gypsum. So let's go back to the BIM Pure tab and click on swap materials. I will select the correct Excel files. So in this case, it is material swap example. We're loading this and clicking on run. And it says successfully replace eight material assignments. If I go back to this wall composition, you can see that RP gypsum has been replaced by BP gypsum. So in this case, we only have two materials, but you can have a whole list to help you clean your files and your templates quickly. Next on the list is create work sets. When you use this tool, you will be asked if you want to enable work sharing. If it's not already the case in your model, I will say yes. And then you can see this dialog box and you can rename levels and grids in the default work set and also add your own list of work sets and you can save them. So in this case, it remembered last time I've used this tool and just added the same work sets. But for example, I could decide to remove this one or add uh, another one instead. And I could save it back. So the next time that I'm using the create work sets tool, it will remember my default list. So this helps with consistency. And then I can click on OK, uh, where sharing will be enabled and all of these work sets will be created. So if I go to the Collaborate tab and go to the Work Sets menu, you can see everything I've typed in this dialog has been added to the project. Next is Modify Prefix. This is helpful if you want to modify your naming convention. For example, in this template, all of the families have the RP prefix, and not only the families, but also the family types, such as the text and the line styles and the regions. So by using the Modify Prefix, I can type in the existing prefix RP and type in the new one, which is BP. And if I click on run, then you can see it successfully renamed 337 elements. And if I select one of the text type, you can see it has been renamed to BP and same thing for all the loadable families as well. Next on the list is rename parameters. In this case, we have an Excel spreadsheet of a list of parameters to search for inside of a family and the name to replace them by. In this case, we want to translate the family from English to French. 
you can see if I go to the family type properties, I have trim projection exterior and trim projection int. If I close this and I go to the bin pure tab, select rename parameters and select the rename parameter Excel file. And I have many options. In this case, I'll use current open family only, but you could also run this directly in a Revit project and affect every single one of the families, or you could filter by using the family names if you want to target specific families. And this will open the family, do the change and load them back into the project. In this case, we'll only do it for this currently open family. If I click on run, you can see that two parameters have been renamed. And if I go to uh, the type properties that indeed they have been renamed. The final tool on the list is called rename families and types. This is used if you want to rename an entire family name or part of the family name. In this case, we want to translate uh, our template to French. So it's searching for door and to replace by the French word and same thing for fern, for furniture in our family collections. So if I go to rename families and types, I will select the Excel file that is uh, right here, rename families. And then I could select all families in the project. I could even include all the nested families. So this would open all the families in the project and also rename everything that is nested. Or I can do both the project families and the nested families. And I could also decide to include the family types. In this case, I'll just uh, stick to using all the families in the project. If I click on run, you can see that three elements have been renamed and my BP doors have been renamed to BP Port instead. The BIMPure plugin for Revit is included in the BIMPure membership that also includes our whole collection of Revit courses, such as basics, design, manage, and heroic families, also mini courses with various experts in BIM and AC Techs about topics such as landscape, the Revit API, Open BIM, ChatGPT, D5 renderings. You'll also get our collection of downloadable Revit files, uh, our Windows collection, Doors collection, our Pro template for Revit. BIMPure also includes live master classes, so you'll get access to all the upcoming live events, but also to the replays of past ones, including on topics such as lookup tables, uh, Dynamo, content catalog, and more. Subscribe now and unlock everything at bimpure.com.